Alright everyone, welcome to a brand new series, uh, playing another Disney game, well sort of. This one's called Alice Madness Returns. Now this is not a happy Alice in Wonderland game, this is a very creepy, dark, and very cool. I really like this game. Um, I used to own this when it first came out years ago, and I remember playing a little bit of it. I never beat it, so I don't even know how far I got in it, but... I remember really loving it, and I do not know why I traded it in, so I found it again today in GameStop, and I really needed to play this on my channel for you guys, and I want to play through the entire game. Um, so if you like any, I'm a, I like Alice in Wonderland, one of my favorite, you know, characters in you know the Disney universe. So this game is just a must-have for me. So we're gonna kick. Uh, get right into this one guys. Hope you all enjoy this. Thank you so much for joining me. Get comfortable. Let's go here Okay Configuration Let's look how creepy the menus are. Sound effects. I'll turn down the music just slightly. Make sure the subtitles are on for you guys. Okay. And bring up the brightness just slightly. Just because it makes it easier for you at home to see in the video. For me too. What is equip? Oh, I guess you can get different outfits for your character. Memories recovered. Oh, I remember there are collectibles too. Like I said, I don't know how far I got in this game before. I don't think it was that far. So it's pretty much going to be all new to me. Because the last time I did play any of this was, like I said, years ago when it first came out. Um, Alright, so. And then yeah, I guess you can view your memories here once you get them. We'll try and collect everything. Actually, just want to take another look. We have snouts peppered, <laughs> bottles collected, radula rooms completed, weapons found, chapters complete. Okay. Very nice. Alright, let's get going here. Yeah, we'll play on normal. Brightness should be okay. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Oh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. 
things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rabbit! Don't struggle, Alice. Let them move My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now... Before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. You guys can see straight away how creepy this is already. The opening story, the art design on this game is just absolutely brilliant. Um, American McGee game. So here we are in this appears to be some sort of mental institution, psych ward. There's characters all about. And of course this music is just brilliant. What do we have here? My stories to the children bear strange fruit. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. Yep. There's a fish here. Look at this kid. <laughs> I don't know if there's any collectibles around here, so we are going to take a look. So that's... Monday is wash day. Okay. So do we have to go this way? Probably have to go that way. Uh, this might be another way out through there. Yeah. Just loops around. Here's the girls' room. Okay, so we can enter first person. That's pretty cool. Really wants us to enter first person mode for some reason. Doctor, do you right? Still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. <laughs> Terminal condition for Alice. Wasted doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? <laughs> Anybody up for a game of hopscotch? Top the family again, did you? Muck up the rescue. They died in a fire. I didn't. Bloody dodo. <laughs> Bloody dodo. Oh well, I can see she has some friends here. Anything over here? Oh, we do have something. Abandoned toys and worn-out shoes have a past. The people who used them too. My past was consumed by fire. Okay. The illustrated news feed an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at match factory, six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? <laughs> the world's gone quite mad. We've all gone, we've all gone mad, haven't we? <laughs> I don't know why it keeps telling us to enter that. It's probably just part of the tutorial. 
Let's see what's in here. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. <laughs> this photograph of my family was delivered here by post. No message, no return address. I'm grateful for this memento, but I wish I could thank the sender. Hmm. So this is Alice's room. See, she's got some drawings up book there but apparently we need to fetch some pills that's what the doctor said I'm stuck there we go let's do it Alice so we get a nice tour of this hospital whatever we're in kids playing out here just want to see if there's anything else to look at Mad as a hatter. Wow. These kids hate me. This likeliness captures the doctor's confidence. His dress is fastidious. His bearing is uh, bearing calm. Just shy of classically handsome, he likely instructed the artist how to render his nose. Perhaps. That's a creepy picture, though. Again, what's what isn't creepy about this game? Oh, I'm really gonna enjoy this. Another day, a different day. Barely remember this part of the game when I used to have this. As I said before, never beat it. Don't even remember how far I got. Probably wasn't even that far. But it was a long time ago. Well, let's see. Switch home for wayward youth. That's us. So we're out in the streets now. Very lively world here. I'm pinching lane. Oh, this thing is killing me, back. I call work noble. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go around. Uh, go around, love. Okay. What do we got here? On one day, if they ever complete the construction. Oh, just like real cities. Construction. 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 That never seems to end. That drives us all mad. There's a guy playing the violin over here, a fiddle. Machine made corsets. Well, they seem interested <laughs> in that. Or maybe just the girl wearing it. Hmm. You're doing pretty good there. I got no coins to give you though. There's a cat. Um, not sure which way to go. We'll go check over here first. There's some kids playing in the back alley. What is this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> This girl is playing hopscotch. They're talking about spanking? <laughs> Alrighty then. That sort of game, I see. Alright, we're gonna go towards the White Chapel Market, I guess. What's up there? Oh, it's a bird friend. E excellent atmosphere so far. Can we get by here? Fang off, Missy. I guess Fang not. Long. What the heck is in your mouth when you talk? <laughs> Air cutter, please. The shop. Uh, that looks like a witch. People all about. They really went all out with the noses in this game. <laughs> the 
these noses they, they uh, nose no boundary I was looking for a pun there that was a bad one I'm so sorry it's a pig here's that cat again chopping up meat I'm just looking around guys pumpkins there's a puss there okay <laughs> so you probably have to follow the cap, but I'm just gonna look around anywhere else. Oh boy, there's a be good. Move along, Alice. I can run you in just for being off your nut. Off your nut. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go over here, I guess. this okay yeah it's creepy Look at this so the cat went down here I'll follow it now when I went to buy this at GameStop today I was talking to the guy, he actually mentioned that they were going to make a Wizard of Oz game like this, but it n just ran out of funding, which is a shame, because that would have been really cool to see an Oz game like this, in this kind of creepy universe. I didn't know that they were making that, but obviously we'll never get it now, unfortunately. The Flaming Stallion. Sounds like a like a bad cologne name or something. Uh, where is that cat down here? Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Well, so far, it seems like it might be a vice. I did turn up the brightness a bit, so you guys should be able to see pretty good in these dark alleys. Yeah, I want no part of that. My stars and garters, Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Yeah. Alice is a pretty bird, me isn't she? Pounds and got me nowhere. <laughs> I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Okay. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the old pound or two. I know it's worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, Oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. She, I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the corpus if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. This she can't remember her name. What I heard. All right. 
this lady's got a little story about Alice. Her interpretation of her anyways. So we're up here on the roof. Look at this. I really do love the graphic style here. The birds don't seem to mind to be in the coop, do they? Okay. Go over here. Yep, that just gives us a nice little view here of the village, the town, whatever you want to call it. Looking good. Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a thirst you could photograph. Need a drink. What? One man needs weapon. Here we go. Truly entered a nightmare now. down the sinking hole. There's a patented Alice in Wonderland thing and where have we landed? Upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. <laughs> At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. Yeah. About time too, <laughs> Alice. Blasted cat! Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Alright. There's the cat. Really creepy look. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Now, I'm not sure. There, dominoes out there. We can jump. We can jump pretty high. This pig, like, where are you going? Pigs can fly. Playing in the water. We got or anything right now. Let's go up. All these flowers bloom. What is this? Cover up. Swear, you jump so well. There's our first memory recovered. Let's see. Uh, so chapter one. Snouts peppered 014 memories. 26 of them here. There's no radula rooms here. 18 bottles. And paint the rose red zero out of four. Huh. Okay, I just wanted to see if it kept track of all the collectibles as we went along, which it does. to jump across there but we're gonna just take a look around and see so I don't know where all the collectibles will end up being obviously so we're gonna have to make 
make that jump there. Oh, uh, double jump there, a nice little twirl. Uh, and if you hold it in, you sort of glide. So I assume we're going to need to test that out here. Now, is there anything down there that we can get? So we'll take a look. Let's look and see if there's any memories or something. I don't see anything down there. But maybe we can get down there. Should we go down there? I'm afraid if I go down there, I won't be able to get back up. Unless there's like a path to get back up. Which there might be, because we can go down the waterfall, right? <laughs> we can go down there. So, early doors here, guys, and we're looking for collectibles. I'm just going to go down here and just see if there's anything that we can collect. That domino just moved. It's worth a look. Anything over here? No. Okay. Alright, so then we just go... Will this take us back up? Oh, they do. They formed a path back up. I'm actually a bit surprised there's no collectibles there now. And I would jump across these dominoes. There's a kid over here. Oh, there's another memory. If you leave from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Two times too reckless. That's that's a lot of recklessness. Just looking to see if there's anything now. Very colorful. First of all, world. What is this about? So we gotta hop on this. Oh, yes, we do. So we're going up again. Oh, there's a memory over there. Let's make sure we get that. Amanita Muscaria Alice is merely a stinky toad. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. How do we get in there? I don't think we can yet. I don't, like I said, never beat this game. <laughs> Didn't get that far in it, so I barely, I don't even remember any of this yet. I don't know. I know we need to, I think we need to shrink to go in there. I think we should get some kind of potion. So we'll find out. Oh boy. It's like a giant perfume bottle. Which it looks like we're going to have to go down here. Drink me. <laughs> I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. Creepy demon oh cats God. talk to us. I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Right. Forests for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Oh, there's uh, some kind of collectible there. Alright, so you hold... I'll be in a shrink, and then you let it go. We see, so that's how you, yeah, that's how you, get, you do shrink to get inside those keyholes. So, we can see things are smaller, like. So, we gotta go in there, but I wanna go back up to where we were because. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there. Vixen in her hidey hole. The message is there like black light. Okay, is that where we were? That is where we were. Okay, excellent. Oh, 
thought there was two keyholes that we went by. Was there one down here too? No, there wasn't. Okay, wasn't sure. Wait, there's one... Now I'm so confused. Is that where we came out? This must be. Oh no, this is somewhere else. We gathered three teeth. <laughs> Look at that giant snail. Oh my goodness. It's a happy snail. We hope. I don't know if I want to go down this way. What? One as well. I want to play with the snail. I wish snails were that big. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just see one of those, you know, climbing up the side of a skyscraper or a tree. <laughs> now we gotta shrink again. <laughs> and some more teeth. Gonna go this way. And what is this area here? It's showing us something here. Oh, a memory. I'll never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. Okay. There's a smaller snail. And back up we go. Where in the world? Now we're on a, some sort of slide. Oh my. Can I slow down at all? Can we slow down? Alice, you're going too fast. There's a gold tooth. We have 26 teeth. Almost hit those. All right, and bloody water waits for us at the bottom. That was a fun ride. <laughs> and that's a fun place to be over there too. The Borpo blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. Let's get that blade. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Okay. The Vorpal Blade. Goes snicker snack, it leaves them dead. Okay. Press X to attack with the Vorpal Blade. There we go. These things? There we go. There's a rose. Looks like our health. Some more teeth. What does it want me to look at there? Oh. Slice any of those? No, we can't. Okay. So looks like there's a, is this a memory here too? Yeah. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice. But flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alex. Skull and crossbones, yeah, we'll go that way. Sounds like we gotta shrink and just take a look around. Okay. In C. 
insidious ruin. Okay, alright, okay. Can we have a dodge here? Do we get a dodge? No? No, we don't. Oh, we got him. Oh, there's another one. Oh, dodge, okay. Oh, very nice. I love that. Excellent. That dodge is really fun. Opens the way for that, but there could be some stuff around here, so let's take a look. Anybody want an insidious ruin for a pet? No? I don't see anything. Look at there's one pointing that direction. Why is it pointing right here? That's just letting me know that they're gonna be coming? That they were here? Where do we have to go this way? This is the only way we can go, so... Well, here's another memory. Let's go get that. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle, because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Ooh. Oh, we didn't do that one very well. I think maybe we need to jump into it. Then float over. Oh, we <laughs> overshot it. There we go, yep. Yeah. Jump into it and then float. That way, it says. So we need to make it over there. Yes, we already know this stuff. So you can hold it twice, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, you can. Float can be used multiple times while jumping, as we just found out there. So let's just take a look. So there's a tooth sitting out over there. There we go. Ooh, I want to go over there. Can we go over there? We do this. Yeah. Is this the way to go? Or is that the way to go? Oh, there's more collectibles over there. Let's go over here first then. Oh, we did not make that somehow. Here we go. We haven't peppered any snouts yet. <laughs> There's a gold bottle here. Not sure what that means compared to the other one. Get some more teeth. Now, dodge while jumping. Hmm. Very cool. There we go. You can dodge while you're up in the air. That might help you reach longer distances too, even. Oh, there's a bird chirping. Most peaceful sound we've heard yet. Look at this meal being cooked down there for us. By a friendly neighbor. Oh, there's a gold tooth now. So what does that leave us on the collectibles? We have seven of the 26 memories. 
There's 14 snouts to be peppered, but we only have z we have zero of them. <laughs> Whatever that entails. Two out of 18 bottles collected. We have 91 teeth. I think maybe the gold teeth are just worth more teeth. <laughs> Some kind of currency in this world. Look at this thing. Uh. Ah, oh, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard of you behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care of the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Alright, let's get the snout peppering. <laughs> Um, pick up the pepper grinder. Spice up your foes. Prepare savory snouts. Everyone likes a savory snout. So how do we do that? Oh, there we go. So do we have snouts right here to, to test them on? How do we focus on it? I can't turn around. Faces you. I don't know. Maybe when there's a snout, we can actually focus on it. What about this door here, can we like? Why can't we go in there? Can we shoot it open? Let's see. Whatever way you're facing is. much harder. You can't really turn with the pepper shooter, the pepper grinder open. You kind of just whatever you face. Bolter fly. Oh, okay. Pull out. Focus on an enemy. There we go. Like a long range weapon. Oh, we overheated the pepper grinder. Lay into it. There we go. Is there more coming? Oh, there is. Oh. Oh, there's more over there. More teeth. I feel like there's going to be more flies. Yep. The bolter flies. Is there another one out there still? I'm worried. I don't see one. There's still some pretty epic fight music going on though. What is this? Oh, okay. They're everywhere. We overheated it. One coming straight at us. Look at this! Insidious ruins. Oh, we got him—the pepper snouter. There's a there's a snout. Throughout every domain, keep an ear out for snouts. Keep an ear out. Entering aim, we shoot the snout with the pepper grinder. Yep. Once the snout is full of pepper, 
Reveal paths and collectibles. Okay. So you guys gotta keep your ears open for snouts. And it's showing us that there's something in there. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for that. I'm gonna make sure we get everything we can down here, though. There's a couple more, uh... Snail shells to crush. I think those are snail shells, I don't know. Alright. I love the dodge, it's awesome. Right, Alice, here we go. Down there, we know that's where the pig led the way. Anybody else hear any more uh, snouts? Is this where we were? Oh, I think it's probably leading us into this door over here. The door we were trying to get in before. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. <laughs> mm hmm Break the Duchess basket to receive a reward. Bunch of gold teeth. Now we are going through that door. The first section of the first level. Have some of that. How about some Peppering in your snout. Okay, here we go. It's saving. Good. Oh, look, there's another one. Give us a path up there. And open up some of those things. Oh, come on now. Something down there, too. We're overheated. the dominoes first. What's down there anyways? Oh! Oh goodness, it's on me. Get out of here. Oh no! Oh, we're right on one of our nests. What is this? Oh. Gotta get back up there somehow. Oh, I couldn't jump again for some reason. Don't know why. And right as we land, we got all these things. Keep your eyes open at night, everyone, for those things creeping into your room. Okay. 
Because, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they could be friendly. What is this? Oh, yes, I hear the pig snout. There it is. More dominoes. Okay. We want to go. That gets us over there. Should we finish looking around down here? I feel like we should. Just take a look and see if there's anything over here. This is a pretty cool first area. Look at these snail shells. Rainbow. Oh, we don't want to fall down there. That was about to be really bad. Oh, look. Look at this. When we shrink... Leads us in here, and there are some stuff in here. Gold bottle. Some teeth. So I think it's beneficial in this game to just shrink at every little area you're at, every section. Just take a quick look around. If you see anything. Because it does reveal hidden passages. Okay, we gotta go back up again. Here. Now we gotta go this way. Another memory. Finish your suit, girls. Bovine Jesus gave our all trip. What in the world is that? It's like a goat? Or like a turtle body? The mock turtle lost at sea. I don't want to fall here. There's a gold tooth over there. Do not want to fall here. There we go. Thank you. Oh. Pretty good so far. Nothing else over there. Just gotta look for messages on the wall too. Point you in areas. Right direction. There we go. Slithering ruin. Oh, I'm gonna get this out. So, keep an eye out for those at night too. Your, those shadows in the corner of your room may just very, very well be slithering ru ruin. Is that what they're called? Yeah, slithering ruin, I think. So if you see it moving, maybe you think it moves. It most likely did, and it's most likely a slithering ruin. Just like this. Let's get a few hot... There we go. Pepper it a bit, and then... You can go in and slice it up. So you can pepper your meal and slice it up. You're good to go. Oh, oh, okay. There's a special thing over there. How do we get over there? We're missing them. There we go. How do we get... Like, I can jump to that, but that's not gonna... That platform's not gonna be able to get us up there. And look at if we fall. There's no getting back up. What is that down there? It's like a light on the water or something. Hmm. Now, do we have to go that way or can we loop around that way to get there? Okay, I guess not. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, we're blocked off. 
I don't think we could have gotten there though, because we can jump high enough. What are we supposed to do here? How are we supposed to get that? We can't jump that high. Okay, let's just go over to this platform. Very nervous about this part. Oh, it just appeared. I don't want to... Oh goodness. This is not a safe area. Oh, good dodge. Want some pepper in? There you go. Okay, so I don't want to get sucked into these... Fountains of blood. But I want to go back, because... Oh, I bet you a mushroom appears on that... On that platform we missed. That must be it. Oh, man. That's got to be it. I should have just taken a chance and jumped over to it. I probably missed some collectibles over there. Because look at They just appear on all these. Oh, we almost landed in it. The railway running through Wonderland sounds charming, but inefficient. Noise and smoke, like steps and snails, perhaps. Best to forget that train. A mock turtle as conductor. Oh, no, I don't think that will do it. Can we get up there? No. Can we loop back around to where we were, please? Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. <laughs> Goodbye, trees. Things are really starting to get dark and dangerous. It's coming after us. There's something. still hear like unpleasant noises up oh. oh there's too many of them over here we gotta move there we go oh there's another one another one of these flies These pearly whites to prevent your premature arrival before the pearly gates. My friends can use these choppers and you'll improve your weapons capacity. So this is like upgrades. Okay, so we have 150 teeth. Oh no, we have 260 teeth. We can upgrade the Vorpal Blade. So why don't we do that? Okay. Purple Blade level 2. We don't have enough to upgrade anything else. That train's taken off. We gotta follow its track. Mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. The Looking Glass Railway. The Veil of Tears. Isn't that the name of this level? Some more teeth. So can we like upgrade at any time? Was it only like when they when they tell us we can? I want to get up there. Oh, there we go. Let's get these first. Step. And what might be around? Memory. 
I really wish we could go back to that one part and see if we could collect what was over there, but maybe it'll let us go back at some point. A little water tower. Hey. Right. Let's go follow the tracks. Now there goes a creepy kid into the tunnel. Something just hit us. I'm not sure what it was. Again. Oh, there's slithering. Slithering ruins. And the level behind us is in ruins now. Alright, Alice, let's go. Oh, it just got really dark. This actually kind of lights the way. It doesn't kind of, it does light the way. Oh. We're going for a ride again. Teapots. More teeth, some health. Nothing over there. Wow, the teapot town or something. Teapot ruins. We have madcaps. Oh, they dodge. Wait, you want some of this? I love the fighting in this game. Very good. So you really know how to use it all. Do a few shots like that. When that cools down, then you go back to this. Dodge in and go in with a knife. And there's more. Look at this guy. He's got a shield. Yes, we know we can dodge enemy attacks. Go ahead. Come on, buddy. Nice try. This music. I think there should be something around here. Nothing down here. Can we break this pot, maybe? No. Oh. More madcaps. These guys are actually less menacing than the, uh, than the ruined villains. They take longer to kill, but... Oh, he got me. Appears and we continue going up, 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 up. There's got to be something around here to collect. Yep, there's something over here. What was that? Oh, so if we go into the flowers when we're little, we get a few teeth. I didn't know that. There we go. Good way to collect more teeth. What is this all about? <laughs> Hello, sir. Is he the king? <laughs> or was? Because there's uh, more flowers down here or not? It might be. 
anything. Right, so, see how it says that. To go in here. Here we go in this cage room a little. No. Maybe he's just telling us we have to go this way. Which looks like it. Wow. Well, I don't hear any pig snouts either. Alright, so should we go that way? That is back the way we came, so we have to go that way. Get up there. Whoa, okay. Yes, yes. So it can reveal hidden paths as well. As you can see. Something right here too. Collected. Is that all that's in here? Okay, so we gotta walk along this path here. Can we jump? We can't jump while we're little. Uh. Okay, so the platform stays there just for a brief moment. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. Pepper Snouten. Everyone's new favorite hobby. Oh. What is it? Floating like clock teapot town or something. I don't even know what to call that. I assume we have to go over there. Yes, we can see. It's a collectible over here. Oh, there we go. Teeth. Plenty of teeth. I can look out for hidden passages, too. Yes, we know. So we go up here. Oh my goodness. I really hate these games where you can just fall into oblivion. <laughs> it's so creepy. So I'm afraid of heights. And even in video games, this stuff freaks me out to a certain degree. This for me? Nope, you better best believe I've been hanging back there with, with the snouts and the madcaps. And I would never ever even think about going on that thing. Not even if Hillary Duff was on the other side waiting for me. <laughs> Again. The Hatter's Domain. The Hatter's Domain. Almost as I remember it. So, as you know better than the Hatter in this game. Deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. 
Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. Flies are trying to get into our cable car there. Okay. So we've landed in the Hatter's Domain. More graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. And I think we're going to leave off this part here. Some vents need to be activated by turning valves. So. On a vent you can rotate. Okay. Alright. So we'll learn how to do that. I think we'll end the first part here, guys. It's been a little over an hour. Um, when we come back, we'll make our way through the Hatter's Domain. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. And until part two, till next time, zero is the number.